everyone welcome again to my uh, YouTube channel and this week we are going to tackle um, kind of like a console table that would go behind your couch but it's gonna go in a smaller spot and we're gonna add um, power into it because we need it um, I'm just gonna show you what we'll be doing and how we're gonna be doing it so um, before Christmas I took two Ikea shelves here and I um, kind of added the wood effect so that this is like our entryway this is our main front door this is our entryway but it ha we have um a puppy who's right there um and this is his house so when we leave for the day um we put him in here like if we're leaving to go out grocery shopping or whatever just so that he's safe we put him in his cage and this piece of wood a does not match all of the other pieces of wood that we have and B, we need it because it's like our second, like it's like a side table for this couch. Because we have this table that moves around and then we have this, which doesn't move around. The other thing is we have a, let me just turn this light on here. We have power on this side of the shelf. So in order for us to get power to the couch, we either have to go behind the couch in this corner here or power from on the other side of the shelf. That's why this cord is here. So what we're gonna build is we're gonna build a little table. If you can see here, this, because I have the shelf and the cage kind of tucks in between the shelf here, I have about a three or four inch gap between the cage and the wall. So we're gonna build a little table here that's gonna house a power unit so that we can plug in our phones and our tablets or whatever if we're sitting on the couch. And then, we are going to, um, this is a piece of wood. It's from Ikea. It's a door that we just had lying around and it fits the top of the cage perfectly. So I'm going to paint that um, just so that it matches a little bit nicer and then everything will be a little bit more cohesive. So I ordered this thing. I When I went to go make my order for um, Home Depot, they didn't actually have the what I was looking for in... Um, an outlet and um, so what I was looking for was an outlet or two outlets and then this actually just came as a bonus that it has the um, USB but I wanted it to have a plug end so that I can go around that shelf there to plug it in and then this is going to sit flush mount onto the wood that I ordered like this so it'll be um, a lot easier for us to get to it over that that cord that we do have there right now also, um, so my birthday is this coming week, but after, um, when this is live, it will have passed and my parents were so gracious enough. I don't actually have a real saw if we're doing something in the apartment, we just use a handsaw. But um, for my birthday, I did get a jigsaw. So this will be, um, it'll make it a lot easier for us to cut the wood and do the small projects that we're doing around the house. And it's a little bit less noisy than maybe a handsaw and a little bit quicker. So this is going to be all the stuff that we need to build that console table. Um, I've got my saw, my two pieces of wood, um, measuring tape, I've got the outlets, I have my saw blades here. Um, this is just a an all-purpose jigsaw um, pack that you can get for like 10 bucks at Home Depot if you're looking for saw blades. I have my drill, um, I've got drill bits um, to make it easier to cut the hole for the outlet. Um, I've got screws because I'm going to be screwing it. I've got wood glue and I've got my sander because if you can see, unfortunately you can't pick your own wood right now at Home Depot in Ontario and it needs to be sanded. Um, it needs to be sanded anyways, but it like really needs to be sanded. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure this spot to this spot and then how um, I only have three inch boards over there, so that's just gonna be what we use. Um, and then I'm gonna create kind of like a U shape 
so that it sits like it's just going to be a freestanding it's not going to attach to this at all um, it's just going to be a freestanding unit drew out um, what this is going to look like. I need two pieces cut that are going to be 26 inches. It measures 26 and a half high, um, but if I want it to match the height of the, um, if I want it to match the height of the cage with the top on it, I am going to, I have to cut it down to 26 inches because this piece of wood that we're using is about half an inch, a little bit more than half an inch um, thick. And it's going to be, I'm going to run the top piece here all the way across. And then the two side pieces are just going to be screwed into and glued into um, that. So this is going to run all the way across and then you're not going to have a, a joint coming up the side and screwed into the side. You're going to screw it from the top down. Um, so I need two of the side pieces and then I need one of the top piece, which is 31 inches. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, measure this to get it cut out. Originally I was going to um, cut it in the center of this, but this is only three inches thick, or sorry, wide, three inches wide. Um, it'd be very difficult not to split all of the wood <laughs> if I did it that way. So I'm gonna cut these, or I'm gonna cut this to 31 inches, and then I'm gonna cut out a notch to fit this in. So then it's gonna sit like, kind of like this. And because I have two screw holes, I'll cut it out so that it fits this box part, and then this will just screw into the top. So it'll be on the one side, but that's fine because it's just, it's against the wall, so it doesn't really matter. So let's get to measure. this for my birthday we need to figure out how to use it first I'm going to take the battery out The, if you are looking for a jigsaw, um, I did choose this one. Two reasons why I chose this one. Um, I have a Ryobi sander, it's down there. So I already had a battery. I didn't have to buy another battery because these ones um, don't come. It's just the tool only when you buy it. And the second reason that I chose it was because it is wireless. So, um, or it doesn't have a cord, it requires a battery. So you don't have to, you can use this anywhere. Like you just have to have your battery um, charge to be able to use it which makes it really easy to use literally anywhere um, and it does come with like you're probably if you are wondering why I bought this it does come with one blade but I needed to make sure that I had the right blade to be cutting what I'm cutting and I just wanted to have some extras with the lockdown in Ontario it's a little bit harder to get things so it's just easier to order everything all together <laughs> So this is my setup. I have um, a clamp holding it to my work table at the moment. Um, I have it marked off where I'm gonna cut. I have my jigsaw and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. smooth cut I'd say this is a pretty good tool also 
you can't see my face right now, but these are my safety glasses. This is what my husband had. The, these are, this is what I have to wear for safety glasses. So now that I have, this is the 31 inch piece. So that will be the top piece. I have to measure out the two 26 inch pieces. I'll get one out of this piece that I've just cut. So I'm gonna uh, rework this thing here. grabbed a drill um, with one of these heads on it, the drill bit, so I'm going to drill into here so that I can get my blade in here so that I can cut across. But I'm going to go in from where I had um, cut these lines here. This is how she's sitting. It's gonna sit on this side a little bit because it's gonna be against the wall anyways. And it's just gonna be in there. So now we just have to attach everything and we're good to go.
Okay, so what we're gonna be doing now is, I'm just gonna sit here so that you guys can kind of see me and what I'm doing. Um, pants are now dirty. So these are the legs, basically, for this thing that we built. And we're gonna stick them on like this so that it sits like this. And I'm going to just screw in from the top here and then wood fill them. Um, and it'll be like this and it'll be pretty much ready to go into that spot. Um, but first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that it fits. going to bring it over here and I'm going to chalk paint it with the linen white. Um, that's just what I have. That thing is wood and I could sand it down but I don't know what kind of wood it is. I don't know if it's going to be <laughs> nice underneath so I'm just going to paint it and I actually might paint this thing too um, now that I think about it so that it looks a little bit nicer and it's not like it's kind of it's going to be kind of patchy if I don't paint it so I, I'm not sure yet um, but I'm just going to bring that thing that table top over here and I'm going to paint it right now for the first coat. I didn't film, I did two coats on the um, top there. I didn't film putting the second coat on because it's just painting. Um, just waiting for it to dry. Now, um, there's you can see two spots that are still wet. And then I'm going to put um, like a sealer on it or a, like a wax on it just so that um, if we spill something on it, it'll be a little bit easier to wipe it up. And then we'll move it over to on top of the cage. I have been testing this. I have had my iPad plugged in and the reviews, I got this on Amazon and the reviews online said that it wasn't the best and the USB didn't work great and it was temperamental and um, it wasn't, it was loose and I have had no problems with it. It charged both my phone and my iPad in a matter of hours um, for both of them and it's been great. Um, it, it's really a really good addition to being able to sit on the couch and have your phone or tablet or whatever charging beside you if that's what you want. Hey guys, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching um, these videos. It means a lot to me. Um, I really hope that you guys are enjoying them. I The first video that I did with the cloud sofa um, has reached over a thousand people, which is amazing. I never thought that that many people would watch. Um, if you are watching and you do like this stuff, I do come out with a new video every Tuesday. Um, so if you want to check those out, I do have a couple videos out that some people haven't seen yet. So if you want to check those out and then come back to this video, that's totally fine. Um, there is no order that I do things in this apartment um, series. So go back and check out the, the other videos after this video. Um, and if you do like it and you're not subscribed, it'd be really amazing if you got, if you could subscribe and like 
um, if you like my content and want to see it every Tuesday and want to be a part of the family. Um, again, thank you so much for watching this. Um, it means the world to me and I hope you guys have a really great Tuesday. Thank you.